Okay, back again with the Chrono Cross. Now, I have recently been playing this with a friend, as I've mentioned before, and he has now eclipsed where I am, because I've been waiting to stream and not doing it a lot. Um, but I did, while I was helping him, I was looking at uh, FAC, and it turns out that I fucking could have way, way more characters than I have right now. And that I've ever had, really, in this game. There, I could probably recruit a bunch of characters right now that I've never even had before. So, that's what I'm going to try to do. I know I can get one right now, but uh, actually, just let me just fuck with my tablet real quick. Uh, I don't know if I can actually do this anymore. I may have missed this opportunity in here to get a character. Well, he, he's not in here. I have to get a, uh, a key item in order to do so. Surge we have, obviously. Pushel we got. We got Mojo. It's too late to get Lena. Okay, so this is what I was looking at. I'm just gonna mess around in here, see if it works. See if I can get the item I need. Yikes. Poison's doing some real work here. Something is going on with the color on my TV. I don't know what the hell that is, but it's weird. second the screen is going to go black let's see if that fixes it throw it back that is more like it that is the correct color Wow, I'm getting shit on over here by this poison. It's not what we want. Oh, it's not doing that much damage. I'm not even poisoned. Shit's weak. Trust me, I'm not gonna die of poisoning. Although I am an amateur. We are looking for a life sparkle at the moment. It's a good thing we have 50 tablets with which to heal our, our poison wounds. Jeez. Bushwhacker, good, good. Oh, 
What? Slapped me. Alright, so we're jumping. Ah, uh, we may not be able to do this. I don't think we can. Nothing, I bet, but see if that helps at all. Guess it no. So yeah, this this character that I'm going for here, I have gotten before. Uh, is Neo Theo? He is a weird little plant man. Cool. That was worth it, just for him to poison Gil. Wonderful, wonderful. Fucking Oh, we only have one antidote? Oh, we got five cure also. Should be okay. It's over here or the other way. I don't know how I feel. It's too slippery to climb. God damn. Don't think we're gonna be able to get Neo Fio, man. This sucks. Try to go in the other world. Going this way, see what happens, but I doubt we'll be able to do it now. At least I'm getting chests and stuff. Because so this area is not really an area that you have to go to unless earlier I had chosen to uh, save kid we'd find a hydra here oh cool what is up Lincoln this is weird I feel like I shouldn't be able to get the safety gear Oh, that will let me control the plant. Shit, I haven't done this part in a long time. I never rescue kid when I play through this anymore. That path and the path where you choose Nikki, man. I don't remember shit about that. Theoretically, now I should be able to use the safety suit to make these stupid plants do what I want. Can I? Oh, do I now just because I have it? Do I not get poison? I guess that makes sense. Even though I'm not wearing it. Really? I thought. I know, Glenn. The fucking plants are mutated. We all understand. I gotta be missing something here.
this going to bother me? Maybe I just can't get... Uh, it's, it is called the new 3DS, but it is the same 3DS, just with a faster processor and a analog nub. Which I already pre-ordered it because I will be playing Monster Hunter for constantly. Safety. I guess you just don't take HP damage. Yeah, I just got fucked. Ah, oh, man, if you think Monster Hunter's boring, you don't know what you're doing, and it just means you're bad at it. Yeah, man, if you're not playing Monster Hunter, you're doing it wrong. Skelly. Already got Pip, Greco, Macha. Can't get Razzly, can't get Mel, can't get Korcha. Got Pip. Got duck. Nah, I guess I can't get as many characters as I thought at this moment. Because I cannot fucking get Neophia. Unless I can get the life sparkle through here. I don't think a, a five-year-old has the mental capacity to play Monster Hunter, but also playing online with randoms is no good. You gotta play locally with people you know. No, it's not really ageism, it's just... Monster Hunter is, like, super complex and doesn't teach you how to play at all, so if you were playing online with a five-year-old, you're probably gonna get your ass beat. Playing it on the Wii U?
Oh yeah, he could have been playing on the regular Wii. Monster Hunter 3 was for Wii. Monster Hunter uh, 3 Ultimate was for Wii U. Oh, maybe I can get the Life Sparkle here. Yeah, I don't know. I used to not like Monster Hunter either, but that's when I was playing it on the PSP. And the controls are like, I don't know, you have to like make your hand into a claw. And it's super uncomfortable, but playing it on the Wii U and 3DS made me really like it. It just took a while to get into. Better be able to get the life sparkle here. this on a PS3 right now. So yes, I still have a PS3. What the hell? I don't like the Hydra Marshes. I actually have never played Journey. I really wanted to, um, and then when they said they were going to do the leaks for the re-release on PS4, they said that was going to happen, and then it just never happened, so I feel like I should play Journey at some point. It's empty, what? Out all swear words to three stars. Uh, I don't know if they're going to or not. People just assume since they would remake Flower that they would remake Journey because it's a lot better. But either way, I'd We'll probably play it at some point. It's a really cool concept. I mean, it'll be the same game, just in HD. Well, I mean, it was already in HD, just with, like... Yeah, I don't even know what they would do, because you can't really make that art style look a whole lot better. Yeah, I saw you played Flower. You had some sweet trophies. Wow. That is a crazy statement. You liked it that much? 
Or did you not play it yet? No, we're not friends on PS4. I could just see all your stuff. on the life sparkle soon. These things are healing, that seems really dumb. Especially considering how weak they are. flower. It's an interesting concept. Yeah, a photon beam. Bush basher. Okay, go, go, go. Okay, what the hell? No Man's Sky does seem pretty sweet. They just need to actually deliver on what they're saying, which is like an extremely slim chance, I feel like. around the Hydra Marshes forever. I am very excited about Bloodborne because Dark Souls 2 was super disappointing, but Miyazaki is actually working on Bloodborne, so it should be amazing. Wait, 
Dark Souls 2 is okay. Dark Souls 1 is like one of the best games ever made. In my opinion. Whereas Dark Souls 2 is like slightly improved gameplay, but like all of the atmosphere was gone. See a strange looking bitch over here. I mean, part of part of it is just because of how much I really like Dark Souls One, and a lot of the bosses in Dark Souls Two were like really easy and like kind of lame. I mean, that's the I, I, it wasn't like a bad game or anything. It was just I was very disappointed by it. It to Biba. Oh shit. The Biba attack. Call another friend, please don't. I don't want to fight all these Bebas. Oh, yeah, I played Guilty here the other day. plays it like all the time. I... I don't know if that's true. He's, like, ridiculously good with Leo. character with the dual blades and the stance change. Surge found the Biba flute. You know what, Glenn? Shut up. It's not really pay to win, he's not very, like, the character itself isn't that good once you know how to fight him. Space. Could this be it? 
Listen, man, your obsession with blowing the flute is getting upsetting. That's not what the flute sounds like. Come on, man. Well, Serge didn't have any food, so I don't even know what he would have tried to feed it there. green in it color. How is it a pain in the ass? What Zeldas were you trying to get? Emulators are like super easy to use. Especially if you're talking about like Super Nintendo and Game Boy Advance. system are you trying to get it for? Because if you're talking about Super Nintendo, like classic, classic Fire Emblem that's in Japanese, then you should be using SNES 9X. And if you're playing the GBA ones, then you should be using Visual Boy Advance. For Super Nintendo, SNES 9X. Which, like, SNES 9X has been around since, like, the late 90s. I mean, there are probably, like, translation patches and stuff. Because, I mean, the first one that came out in English was the first one for Game Boy Advance. The five before that came out only in Japanese. What the fuck? Did I blow the Biba flute?
Yes, jump down. Well, fuck. Try to go back there one more time, and then we are done with this bullshit. Maybe I can't fight that monster because you have to take the save kid path and it's a boss. I don't understand how you keep getting to this Nintendo porn. Why are you like looking on Google Images for Fire Emblem? Okay, well that's your first mistake, is typing in Fire Emblem Emulator. You would only need to be searching for Visual Boy Advance for the emulator, and you'd only need to be searching for Fire Emblem NA ROM for the ROM. Which would take you to a ROM download website and not a Fire Emblem fan site, which would be like a hundred times more likely to have a bunch of Fire Emblem porn on it. Also, like a hundred times more likely to have a virus.
Yeah, in the new game Fire Emblem Awakening, there was this girl character, Tharja, which everybody, like, draws weird freaky porn pictures of. And, like, even, like, companies were, like, making weird creepy statues with her ass hanging out and stuff. It's really f creepy. Mainly because I didn't really like Tharja as a character. She was just, like, a weird goth witch. And I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Fine, I guess I'll just settle for fucking getting Lukia and moving on. At least we got the Biba flute. Oh fuck, actually. Oh man, now I gotta go back into the marsh and try this again. that is the Biba flu. This is gonna be the Hydra Marsh's stream. Looking for trouble. You can't blow the Biba flute here. What the fuck are you bitches talking about? Okay, well, can I have this strange equipment? Nebula. You know what? Fuck you guys. I guess I won't use the Biba flute. Don't type Tharja into Google. No one needs that. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> You can expect weird semi-pornographic pictures of a Fire Emblem character because that's all anyone does. It's very upsetting. People have a weird obsession with Tharja. I don't understand. That is so true. It's really weird. All right. Well, 
Let's get Lukia. Uh, she will be on the roof, though, now, as far as I know. Yeah, I fucking wish, Lukia, that I could have Neophio, but I didn't look for the thing fast enough. Wait, what? What the fuck? Now I'm really confused. My friend's game the other day she joined at this point, but I thought that was too early. Ah, this game is teasing me with all the characters, Jesus Christ. Yeah, how- do you think you're gonna get it? Uh, the friend that I'm actually uh, playing this game with, not on stream, um, he subscribed to Final Fantasy XIV for a long time and was playing it. I didn't play XIV, but I played some of eleven, and I couldn't really get into it. couldn't fucking get the life sparkle until... Oh, I gotta look this shit up. I just want the life sparkle. Yeah, it does. It's uh, 15 a month for the subscription. I... If you buy it on PSN, you probably get a month free, but... Oh my god, Lincoln, just search for Fire Emblem GBA ROM. See this guy from nose. Are you sure they didn't just remove it from one mirror? They have like 30 mirrors per game usually.
Oh, fuck, I can get Neo Fiat, oh, god damn it. Alright. Man, there's so much shit in this game that I just don't remember. I guess I'll pick up the key while I'm here. Okay, well, if you, like, just literally, if you search it, MU Paradise has it, and Free Roms has it. So your Google searching skills are lacking, to say the least. So what made you start looking into Final Fantasy XIV, Nebula? Alright, I am in Goldov. I gotta get the green tinkler from a dwarf. What's up? Can I not get the green tinkler? Slapping me in the face. <laughs> or Lincoln, didn't you say your brother has like three three DSs? You could just get it on the virtual console. I remember when 14 launched, it was like super broken. But after they relaunched it, it seemed to be pretty good. It's, it's not even Nintendo lingo, the virtual console, just the where you download all the old console games on the eShop. 
I actually don't know if the original Fire Emblem is on there, but Sacred Stones is at least. Is this Homeworld? There we go. After almost a fucking hour, we have received the green tinkler, and we may be able to get Neophia. So then this plant will not slap us in the face. Wait. I think I was lied to. It's gotta be in another world because it's not poisoned there. Oh my god. Oh, nice. I want to play Circle of the Moon so bad. I actually just played through Donkey Kong Country 3 again the other day, too. And then I was thinking about the GBA version, because it's slightly different. time getting the green tinkler when I could have been just advancing the story. See, like, I really like Chrono Cross, and I like that there's a lot of characters, but some of the stupid convoluted ways to get characters, or, like, how you can only do them in, like, a super specific fucking time frame, is really annoying. Here we are, we got the green tinkler. Yes. We should be able to do this now. My cats are actually not being very really annoying right now, which is shocking. And good work, Lincoln. I'm proud of you.
the best you can- Oh shit, Glenn is 34 health. That's not much health. Why is that? He's gonna kill him, but I guess I'm gonna have to heal. They brawl every day, and I never miss it. Stupid. And they beat on each other constantly. This isn't the life sparkle. Thank you. Thank you. Get some sweet Neo Feo action in here. And then I'm not even going to use them. That's how awesome he is. No, oh, I forgot I gotta use the Tinkler. Yes, we know the toxin levels, blah blah blah, green Tinkler. Come on. I do not remember if I can get Neo Theo right now or if I have to come back later in the game. Because I think a certain amount of time might have to elapse before he, like, grows from his magical flower bullshit action. I will be getting Final Fantasy Type-0 on PS4, and I'm very excited. I, I know Type-0 is supposed to be a good game, but I'm actually more excited for the fact that the Final Fantasy 15 demo will exist, and I'll actually be able to play a working version of that game so I can finally start believing that it exists. Oh, he just pops right out. Look at him. Oh my god, he's Neo Fio. That is true. I am your master. Little flower man. Wow, what a terrible, terrible stance. No, yeah, but people seem to really like Type-0, and I'm glad it's coming out here, and I'll definitely play it. It's just, man, that Final Fantasy XV demo, I need it so bad. Waiting for that game for so long.
can finally advance. Go to the Water Dragon Temple. Well, it's not really a temple, it's more an island, but... You know what I mean. I hey, hate you, Lincoln. They're never announcing Fallout 4, also different companies. It was a nice try. This whole trip to this island, I can't stand now that I've done it so many times because I've played this game so many times, but like, it's just like the most filler ass thing I've ever experienced in an RPG. There's like literally no need for it. Like, yes, you do have to go to a volcano after this, but I don't understand why you need the blessing of the water dragon so you can freeze the lava. They could have just as easily made it so you could just walk up the fucking mountain instead of having to go through this whole thing where the dwarves are pissed off because the ecosystem is fucked up and blah 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 so they come to this island and f start killing all the fairies because they're stupid and don't understand anything long story short I do not enjoy this so I will be skipping most of the fights because the dwarves are stupid. And also all these chests suck, so I'm gonna skip those because I saw what they were the other day. Here we go, shitty dwarves. Give us a warm welcome. Humans are not welcome, though. So that seems like kind of contradictory. We could just, like, walk around and dick off, fight the dwarves, but we're not going to do that because... I never beat Enslaved, but I played like halfway through it and really liked what I played of it. I think that'd be a cool speedrun. How long is like a good speedrun time in Enslaved? Get 
guess Bush Bash. How does Glenn keep losing so much health? Is he like poisoned outside of battle and I'm just not aware? Such strength. I've underestimated you humans. He thinks it's not gonna happen a second time, but spoilers. I am gonna fuck him up a second time. Do do do. for no reason. What is going on? Yeah, people always talk about how crazy the ending is. But I don't know. Two hours is fast. That's crazy. Because <laughs> I've definitely played that game for more than two hours. I don't even want to save dwarfs. That's how confident I am that I'm going to beat this thing guys. Yeah, you can speed her an Ocarina of Time in like 18 minutes if you're good enough. Dude, Lincoln, if you've never seen speedruns of Ocarina of Time, you should look that up. They're awesome. Like the 100% runs, like if you get everything, take like three and a half hours, but like the any percent runs where you just beat it as fast as you can, literally the world record is like 18 minutes and like 17 seconds. It's insane. The guy who used to hold the world record, Cosmo, he has a bunch of like videos where he like walks you through it. Like if you look at uh, his AGDQ run from like two years ago, that's a pretty decent video where he like explains exactly what he's doing. Yeah, the, there is like a glitch with the doors, but there's also the main thing is uh, they like set it up perfectly so they know how to basically like change the warp for when you beat the Goma Queen in the Deku Tree, and then like it just warps you to the end of the game as Young Link. It it's crazy. Really? How'd this dwarf get me? I knew I was here. Yeah, it's just like, I, I love watching speedruns, man. It's just some of the stuff that people can do is like... It's just like mind blowing. Like, how would you ever figure some of this stuff out? I, I do not know. I mean, I guess if you just hit it anything long enough, you're gonna figure out ways to break it. There are speedruns of Bashi. Someone actually did, uh,. Speed run of it at this year's AGDQ. I watched most of it. That name sounds familiar, but I don't remember who it actually was. Our 
right, here's the final boss of this shitty side quest. Some shitty dwarves. In a tank. Uh, I don't remember who was sitting on the couch. I was playing Sunset Overdrive at the same time while I like kind of just looked over from time to time. When I was younger, I used to have so much trouble with this boss, now it's like a cake block. Scary, but then like look I did 10 fucking damage to serve so like, what is what is that it's not a thing it's just terrible and he's weak to blend so it's like please Uh, yeah, yeah, I tried to play Bashi. I'm very bad at it. Actually, uh, after I first played Bashi, I wrote a uh, post about it on my blog, and it is still, every single day, it gets hits. And it's the most viewed thing on my blog by, like, an insane margin. Because some Japanese website, like, has a link to the post, and people visit through that link, like, all the time. It's insane. I like tried it originally as like just messing around and I got to Hello Kitty and then was like but No, I do not get paid for my blog. It's not dead. Dash and slay. Are you 
serious? I'm not dead? Slot for like two or three star levels or some crazy thing. And I'm just skipping through this dialogue because I really don't care. Humans are greedy. We push them out of their land, blah blah blah. We're evil monsters. Yeah, I found first time the other day that. If you, like, just dick around, um, Rosetta can actually die, which is the only way that one of the characters in the game can get their level 7 tech. Yeah, there's certain games that people will always come to, like, I feel like Bashi's one and, like, Spelunky's another. Like, I usually only get a decent amount of viewers when I stream Spelunky. And I guess when I started started streaming and did the Grim Fandango for uh, Child's Play. Or Extra Life, sorry. And here we get to meet the Water Dragon. Chat him up. He's going to give us his blessing and a summon. I already know what thou seeketh here. There is not to be surprised about. It is but a trifle for we sleeping dragons who hath dwelt upon this land for ages. Mount Pier and the land thou seeketh is home to the fire dragon. Unless thou quench his red blazes, it will prove a difficult journey. Take this, son of man. My breath can freeze even boiling lava. It's true, it can. Somehow it's an item. Take my subordinate as well. Shall be useful in holding back the fire dragon of Mount Pier. Frog Prince got my summon that literally no one that I have can use because I'm pretty sure I have no one who's a blue in it color. That's deep. Wilt thou live on with planet? Wilt thou live on with thy mother planet, or wilt thou turn thy back on the planet and tread another path? I can't really ask that question because the game doesn't really let me choose. They said they were chased out of the forest by the humans. You're to blame. Yeah, see, we fucking saved these fairies from the stupid dwarves, and then they're fucking all butthurt because they claim it's humans' fault, but like, Surge didn't do it. I didn't do it, I just saved these stupid fairies. And what's extra insane is. This makes no sense with the path I took, because if you choose to save Kid, you actually do go into the swamp while the dwarves are living there, and you kill the Hydra, so that totally changes the ecosystem, and the dwarves can't live there anymore. But I didn't choose that path. I didn't go there and kill the Hydras. So this is stupid. GTFO. Q 
kid having flashbacks to when her orphanage was burned to the ground by this homeboy. And this is actually a really good scene. Where am I? I fainted, eh? Sorry, did I wake you up? I had a bad dream. Seeing that fairy's eyes filled with tears over losing her friends, that must have triggered memories of me own past. I was an orphan. I was abandoned when I was a baby. Now see, because I know what the actual plot of this game is, that's not technically true. She wasn't abandoned as a baby. But spoilers. There was someone who took me in and raised me as if I were her own little sister, which is Luca from Chrono Trigger. I'm alive here today thanks to her. There were a lot of others like me at Sissus Place, and she was always making strange stuff, like robots. We didn't have money, but we were all happy. Up until that Lynx bastard came and shattered our happiness to pieces. Lynx raided our house, burned it down, and kidnapped Sis. Sister never came back. Since then, I've wandered the world and experienced so much pain just to get by. No one was there to help me. I was always alone. If you ask me, the idea of guardian angels watching over us all the time, that's a load of rubbish. In this world, the underhanded always gets the last laugh. Only the ones who don't think anything of hurting others are the ones who get bloodstained fortunes. The ones who kill, the ones who devour, they're the ones who survive. That's the only rule of this world. It's kind of, yeah, this is kind of depressing and dark right now. The great species of mankind, our wonderful world filled with love and happiness. Ha! Don't make me laugh. But if that's how it is, that's fine with me. Yeah, HQ. I, I think that one might actually be legit. I don't know. As long as I'm alive, there ain't no going back. I sometimes think that Luca is still alive. It depends. I'll abide by this world's rules and do what I gotta do, despite the rotten hand of cards I've been dealt. I'll make sure that bloody bastard pays for what he's done. I will get even, no matter what it takes. Yeah, I think that's a good scene, and the fact that she doesn't actually mention Luca's name, it just shows it uh, in the burning picture, is actually kind of important for a plot point later on. Oh uh, yeah, the series is over. Uh, they didn't make anything after this. Which... You know, I'm I'm fine with that. Like, I think this game would have actually fared better if it wasn't a, kind of a direct sequel. Uh, the theory is because they never say that specifically that Luca was killed, she was kidnapped. And this is all about I mean, Chrono Trigger, the, I know you haven't played it, Lincoln, is all about, like, time travel. And this is all about, like, an insane amount of parallel universes.
Yeah, it is kind of complex, and it doesn't help that, uh... I don't want to say the plot of this of Chrono Cross is poorly written. It's just kind of not always well. It's like not really given to the player well all the time. Like the way they deliver a lot of the story is kind of weird and makes it a little more confusing than if you just like look it up on a wiki. Which I think is one of the reasons why Chrono Cross gets a lot more shit than it rightly deserves. Because, like, it is... It, technically, it's a crazy game. Like, they had to cut a shitload of content from this because... They were, like, pushing the limits of the PlayStation 1 so hard. And just, like, yeah, it is tied to Chrono Trigger, and it's... I, I still like it a lot, even though I like Chrono Trigger more. It's just it has a unique battle system, so it's like it it can stand on its own. It doesn't necessarily it didn't necessarily have to be a direct sequel to Chrono Trigger. And like in in some ways it's not like a direct sequel to Chrono Trigger. I mean there are there are parts near the end that are super directly tied to Chrono Trigger, but for the most part, it's its own thing. What am I doing? Oh, I can actually just go Yeah, that is cool. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Let's see what this is. Magma Burst? Not worth it. Ooh, wow, yeah, definitely not worth it. Holy shit. Yeah, the translation is actually pretty good of that. Not bad at all. It's so weird going through all this again in such a short time span, because I had just... I mean, like, I've done all this a million times, because I've played this game like seven times, but... I've been playing through it with one of my friends, and we he just got probably like just a couple hours past this the other day. I've always liked Captain. Yeah, I I don't know. I most of the times when I go through the game, I use Kid a lot. And this time I'm trying to use different characters. No, actually Lincoln Glenn, the character I'm using is OP. Glenn is, like, stupid good, especially later on when he gets the Einlanzer, and then he can dual-wield the Einlanzer if he gets it from both worlds, and then he's, like, mad good. 
But yeah, HQ, I like Giel, um, mainly because Magus is, like, my favorite character from Chrono Trigger. And even though I know Giel isn't actually Magus, he was originally supposed to be, and I think that's one of the reasons why I always kind of go for him. Uh, but also, he just has, like, stupid high magic attack. This hot dialogue, salt and pepper. Teach me all about summons and traps. Actually, fuck. I don't know if I went and bought trap elements. At least gotta get holy light. Yeah, Glenn is like stupid good. No, but I feel like every time I play through this, I end up using Surge, Fargo, and Grobeak. And I... I don't know. I think by the end of the game, I'm going to try a different team than those three. Just because I literally always end up using Fargo and Grobeak. I'll probably at least use Fargo for a little bit later on, because you have to steal from the dragons when you fight them, but... I guess I could just as easily... I think Mel can steal also, but she's not exactly my favorite character to play as. I have... ...not... I never, like, got... I never really messed around with that monster arena too much. But I can see her being okay. Can she steal also? Oh, really? I, I did not know they had a steal double tech. That, that is stupid. chance at the rare drops. Huh. Yeah, I... I don't know if I'm gonna end up following through on it. I might just end up beating it this one time and then move on to another game, but... I, I would like to try to get a save that has every character on it. Yeah, you can lose. I just, at this point, like, I have such a ridiculous amount of decent elements and stuff that I probably won't die. Later on, though, some of the bosses get super tough, so... I don't know, there's a bunch of characters that I've, like, never used that I should try out. Yeah, like, I always have trouble, one of the, like, kind of secret boss fights with Dario is, like, that fucking, that fight pisses me off so bad. But then when you win, it's so worth it. You get the Master Moon.
the Sky Genie ring. What? I don't remember that. Wait, why do you have that? No, you get that. Holy shit. That's awesome. I feel like that might be a rare drop. Yeah, Dario's stupid. Uh, I don't think that it is coming out for the PS3 Nebula. I think it's just PS4. And, well, PS4, Vita, and PC, but... Uh, there is not, Lincoln. There is no working PS3 emulator. Double Fine made with Sony. Yeah, I would have gone the other way to try to get those items, but it's just like a fucking capsule and a bronze helmet, so it's definitely not worth it. I don't I don't even think it's cross by. I think it's like separate for each. All I know is I pre-ordered that shit for PS4. And it would I pre-ordered it and got my hot dynamic Grim Fandango theme, so it's very exciting challenge me to a fight and I'm very excited about the trophies in that game because I've played that game so many times to completion that I'll be able to get those trophies no problem oh, and the developer commentary I can't wait for that to come out I know I work uh, the day it comes out and for like a couple days after so I think just on my own time I'm gonna play through it really fast, and then, uh, <laughs> yeah, Lincoln, that's the game where there was the poetry. But I think I'll stream after I beat it once, just so I can see what the HD looks like. Uh, Disney owns the rights for the game, I still, I believe. I, I don't know if they sold the rights back to Double Fine or if they're just letting them produce the HD re-release. Because Disney bought all the old Lucas LucasArts stuff when they acquired all that stuff. 109? Oh my god. Lincoln, you might see me die here. <laughs> Stupid Chinese Ice Blast. Yeah, Star Wars 1313. Uh, that game looks crazy awesome. Come on, deal. Oh, for the love of God. 
god, don't do that again. is uh, going poorly, to say the least. Okay, I'll get right on that. They have an English degree, not a law degree. start getting more slots in a couple levels, but it's not really going to make a difference. And if I didn't know better, I would just walk forward before saving, but being the wizened person that I am, I will heal up first and save. Dragoons. Karsh? Huh? Is that you, Glenn? Why are you with these bozos? So yeah, I think... I think I'm gonna try to use Karsh. When you get them later. Spoilers. Please, Karsh. We need to go through. I need to see. I need to see for myself what is happening. Even if that means leaving the Dragoons. Ha! You call yourself a Dragoon? But, in the name of the Acacia Dragoons, you ain't getting past here. Zoa screaming, this will be the end of you all. Marcy's gonna say her terrible stuff. Oh, don't pretend like Diddy wasn't always on the top of the tier list later. She hates Serge, she hates his friends, his mom, his, dad, his grandma, grandpa, his great grandma. Everybody. Marcy's the... I do not like Marcy. I don't know how she could be Fargo's daughter. It's a very, very upsetting. Someone as cool as Fargo could have such a terrible daughter. Alright, and I should be careful. Alright, have a good night, Nebula. Two, either Sheik or Zero Suit. Th 
that's true. Car <laughs> Fargo didn't raise her, but she. Ugh. Man, I, Marcy is, upsets me. There you go, 231. Holy crap. They don't. You, I, not, well, I don't know if they do or not. But you're the one who always complained about Little Mac when I was here. Don't attack Karsh, that's not what we want. We want Zoa. Because you're weak to him. Actually, just to be safe. your memory on? Dumb attack. But yeah, I think I'm gonna try to use Karsh later on. Gotta get that axial axe. Fool. I see when I was younger I always thought this fight was a lot harder too, but it's not really. If you focus on Marcy first, I feel like it goes a lot easier. I don't I've never been a big fan of Zoma and his all caps. Like, I... I'll probably end up using Surge, though, but I kind of just want to use three random characters. I don't know, what in color is Orla? I may use her. Hopefully she's blue or red. Wait, did I not equip something to Glenn? was his thing like that? Impossible. There's no way I'd lose. <laughs> uh, I, I want to read it, but I don't want to just... Scream in all caps. Yeah, I have had her freeze all three of my people before, and it... Yeah. That sucks, man. And see, there she is. She's so annoying. So annoying. Oh, 
Oh my god, the plot twist.